Okay. So I finished Metal Gear Solid 1. It was quick. It was not a long game. I've streamed this game. I've streamed most of this game. And I've streamed Phantom Pain, Metal Gear Solid 4, and the original. This is the only Metal Gear Solid game I've never streamed, and I haven't played it since release. This completes the circle. This is the most important game of the night. As I said earlier, I'm really interested to see how this game aged, and how much I like it now that I'm older. After the Shadow Moses incident, technological data on the nuclear-armed walking tank Metal Gear leaks into the black market. Solid Snake and his allies from the anti-Metal Gear NGO philanthropy set out in pursuit of a tanker carrying a new Metal Gear prototype. But Snake falls into a trap set by former Foxhound member Ocelot and is believed lost along with the tanker at the bottom of the Hudson River. Well, then the rest is spoilers. Jeez. The fuck? Why would they do that? What took you so long to revisit this game? I guess I was afraid to. I, I remember having some issues with it. I knew uh, people that made fun of it. And I was worried that maybe I wouldn't like it. But now I'm feeling like this is one that is is remembered almost as fondly as as like the first uh, one and and three. I don't know. No, no specific reason to be honest. I just my Metal Gear playing just didn't happen for a long time. I have a feeling this is going to be... A number of people in chat were saying that this game is very relevant now. So I'm excited to see what that is. Because I barely remember. I remember the broad strokes of the game, just not the, the details. There he is, our boy, David. There he is, my man, Quentin Flynn. There he is, Otacon. I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know who they are. Phil Lamar plays vamp. I know that. Colonel. That's that's the Colonel. Jennifer Hale starring as Otto, as Ocelot. Cam Clark. Yeah, the Quentin Flint interview didn't happen because I just didn't want to bother the guy. He's he's a busy dude. It almost happened a couple times, but I'm I'm I just feel weird bothering people. I'm sure he's been asked the same questions a thousand times by everybody else. But he was this really great guy to meet in person. I loved him. Uh, maybe one day I'll get him to sign more shit for me. the best theme. got the suit Oh okay 
I don't remember that story. Who did they take it from? They were threatened, so they changed the theme. It sounded too much like this one Russian orchestra. Oh, shit. Definitely captions on. It's gonna be, again, kind of weird going from Metal Gear Solid 1 to this directly, back to back. The gameplay improvements are gonna be really great. Really welcome. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna do the tanker and plant, of course. Uh, again, I'm not looking for big dick points here. I'm just gonna go for normal difficulty. I'll still die a thousand times. By the way, the story's fictional. Speaking of, uh, chat, I know you're excited as I am, and you know the, the spoilers. God's River. Two years ago. Try not to spoil for the other chat members. We had if classified that's okay. intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. GWB. There's a Mitsuwa near the George Washington Bridge. It's a store that sells weeb stuff. I know because Jen and Imakuni dragged me there one time. It's a it's a grocery store. It they sell um stuff and things. It was cool. Anyway, that's what I know the George Washington Bridge from. And sometimes I have to go over it to get to Boston. Okay, it's just a grocery store. I'm sorry. Snake. You gotta quit, Snake. You gotta quit. It's gonna get you killed one day, Snake. I think that's Octagon stealth camo. He's letting Snake borrow it. What a good friend. Oh yeah, get ready for Matrix. And my controller vibrated off of my knee and hit the ground. Okay, this is epic. I don't think I like this game's soundtrack as much as the first one, but it's still pretty fucking great, especially the theme that they later never used again. Oh boy, he's right on the schedule.
He'll know soon enough. The hype surrounding this game when it first came out was fucking unreal. People bought the game that came with the demo disc of this, having no interest in that $60 game. It's own of Enders, yeah. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this. I like the anyway. drawings better. The private Spoiler. sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed. I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. And that reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. You're diverting toys from the SSCEN again? But give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow no Moses? Way. All Ocelot's doing. <laughs> exactly. And now every yeah. state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear power. Sorry, I don't want to. The story is important. Been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious anti-metal gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. So everyone's got metal gear, or could make their own. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new metal gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't oh. worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of philanthropy now. An anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. It's the same actor. He's just doing... All right. Let's look at your gear. His his your Otacon is voice a is a little less. Gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9. It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out the laser sighting too. The effects of the anesthetic round will vary depending on what part of the body is hit. We're talking about a difference of tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment... Hey, Snake? Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? The who? Here's the digital camera. What does a surgeon the have to do with this? They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. 
The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. We're on the left there. I'd the cargo holds, safely below the deck. They see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew Wide screen error, maybe? Someone just said skip cutscene, please. What? Get the fuck out of here. Looks like we're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Autocon. How many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. AKS 74U. No. AKS 74 me. Russians? You sure? No Marine Barber touched that head of hair. Lukovic. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. Oh, sorry, that was a I'm bit of a spoiler. It. My bad. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer Whale. I already we forgot how to play. On who they are. Like the tutorial Judging shit? By their transport, aren't they some kind it's of out of my mind commandos? by now. Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. Yeah. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Right. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How see. can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for it. 140.96. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. Call me on the codec when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off hey. that ship by then. I'll be in touch. The Verrazano Bridge goes to Staten Island from Brooklyn, and vice versa. That's my home bridge. You want to save, Snake? Yeah! For those wondering what that is, you can press L and R during these codec moments, and you can get Snake to go, yeah! Why, though? I don't know. Ask Kajumbo. Snake, you of course know the saying, one for all, all for one. What is this all this? <laughs> Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers. The book, not the candy bar. Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. <laughs> Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. How was that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But, you sure you got it right? Of course. No and I'll teach you a lot it. more of these. You can count on it. Great. Jeez, thanks, Octagon. Push the action button near a scalable railing to hang off the other side. This is no called hang up. You can use it to move around, right. hide, and even maneuver right. around an enemy's back. Uh -huh. 
You can move the left stick or use the L2 and R2 buttons to move left and right while hanging. When you're ready to pull yourself up, just push the action button again. A grip what? gauge appears below the life gauge uh, during hanging. The grip gauge uh, indicates how tightly you're holding on uh, and steadily decreases as uh, long as you're in hanging <laughs> mode. When the grip gauge goes no to zero, way. you won't be able to hold on anymore. No you need to hoist yourself up before no you fall way. off. Push the I crawl see. button while hanging to jump you down straight below. Joking. If the ground is too... F All right, thanks, Octagon. I'm not going to be doing that for every cutscene, but, you know, there's, there's a time and a place. First trank. It was a good trank. Again, this is like a completely different game at this point compared to Metal Gear Solid One. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get used to this. There's also pressure pressure sensitive buttons. So if you don't want to shoot, you have to let go of the button very lightly. How do you do them again? Was it like L and R or something? Ah. Not when it's wet. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna do all the dog tags, but how do you you do them like this, right? You have to just keep shake. Oh no no no! You have to um you have to like threaten him. You have to go freeze. Okay. Can I throw his ass overboard? Snake, go through that door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is open. Sage advice. Yeah, I don't know how to throw him over, but I, oh, oh, maybe over here? That's, like, I just killed that man. Make no mistake. Anyway, the demo for this section was both hotly anticipated and it delivered. As I mentioned, the hype for this game was unreal. And when it came out, it mostly, you know, people were mostly okay with it. But, you know, there's some weird stuff that you'll see later on that maybe a couple people weren't so into. You'll see.
you, you go double sleep. That's good. I know uh, Glorious Kajumbo was, at this time, getting a little bit sick of the... What? No one. Enemy sight. Requesting backup units. Guy sleeping, just sleeping, man. Sleeping, dude. Sleepings, doing some sleeping. The situation is. Who's there? And you missile requesting backup you. Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh shit, now they need a backup unit to get the backup unit. That was the backup unit. Okay, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I saw an item. Two. Three. Four. And... There we go. Oh, I can actually climb over stuff too? Wow! Modern game advancements. Wow, that hurt, Snake! The Great Solid Snake was hurt by that? If you do a hundred push-ups, you get a level up. My knees are exploding. Shut up, Otacon. I know how to do it. You already told me. God. Snake, it looks like that door can't be opened from the deck. You can infiltrate the ship through other doors. Man, could you imagine being the world's greatest soldier? And being able to sneak in and out of any situation? But you need a dude to tell you a door is locked? Snake, I'm just a little lonely. Just hoping we could have a conversation. Not now, Octagon. Snake, has she, has your ass lost weight? What happened to it, Snake? these new game mechanics. But yet, you still can't crouch walk. I'm glad I played Metal Gear Solid 1 first. Because it makes the gameplay improvements seem... like, huge. If I played this after playing, like, Phantom Pain, it would have been... It would have been bad. Bad. Well, you saw Ludes? 
Where's the where's the loons? I didn't see them. Oh, there's there's a loot. Con. See those lockers? That's a good place to hide yourself if you're in a pinch. Push the action button near the locker to open the door. Walk into it for a quick concealment. Push the action button. If you open the locker... All right, Otacon. Is this a piss stain situation? If you open the locker, you... I don't know, people were telling me that, um... People were telling... <laughs> people were telling me that he has unique dialogue for this. Oh, God. Oh, God. This reminds me of when we first met. I was the one inside the locker that time. We're equal now, huh? Not unless I wet my pants. That's a low blow, Snake. It is the piss stain. Push the action button. Button. Okay, okay, okay. Send the photos later to Otacon. Okay. I'll remember how to play this game. Well, not so much as remember, but relearn. Getting those dog tags. Now we're near. No. There's somebody there. Why have you sleep? So much for dog tags. Don't wake these fuckers up. Liquor too now, Otacon.
Okay. It's a really weird, random picture to have there. Kick the guards? Doesn't look like it can. Random stock photo. Shutterstock. Kojima was a fucking visionary. I forgot that you can shoot their radios, too. That's not it. Ah, oh, screw it. Whatever. I mean, learning the ins and outs of how to, like, handle the soldiers. Uh, it's a sentence that I couldn't get the sound right, no matter how hard I tried. But... Um... In the same way that exploiting some of the game mechanics in Metal Gear Solid 3 leads to a very, very interesting experience. That's what I want to do with this, too. Situation is normal. All is it? Clear. Freeze. <gasps> Read that dog tag. How do I make him scoot? You need to see this. There you go. That's how you do it. I thought it said I earned a trophy Animal Crossing. What, you mean that's not a Russian name? This is going to take a lot of getting used to. What the fuck?
That's all right. They're just studying it. Nice legos. It's going through that there wall. I mean, it still was really fucking impressive for the year it came out. See now the security is a little bit tighter. Neck on out of there. Snake? Snake? Snake! Unless the world was not saved from Metal Gear because Snake broke his neck trying to roll upstairs. Save? Let's save. But I'm, I'm really only doing this for you, Anakon. I just want to hear what you have to tell me. I need words of encouragement. I need to get my groove back. Okay. There's a saying that goes, Even a bird on high dies a glutton's death, as do the fish of the deeps. The lesson is, uh, <laughs> don't be greedy. The fish that belonged to a family called the Deeps died from overfeeding, and so did a bird that got high on something. Probably fermented fruit. Okay, if you say so. I do, Snake. Don't take unnecessary risks just because you're greedy for more items. Oh my Remember god. the Deep family's fish. <sighs> What a story, Mark. Is that his name? No, it's Hal. Sorry, I thought it was Mark Otacon. Can't have you waking up. Oh yeah, right in the eyeball. That's the best place to administer tranquilizer darts, directly to eyeball. Surveillance camera. Attached to the wall snake, thank you. Turns out darts are not strong enough to destroy cameras. Who would have who would have thought? Sneak under it. No, I want a loud explosion to disable it. Truly the mastery of stealth. Tranquilizing a computer makes it deep dream. And then you get like weird 
like security camera footage of like dog faces and strange rainbow cat creatures with like seven hands and like 13 fingers per hand. Someone did that for Skyrim. They did a deep dream of all the textures. And then just replaced them. And it is just oh, really fucking bizarre looking. Just a second. Tell me more things. Another Chinese proverb. Those who look to the heavens prosper. Those who defy it are no more. Do you know this one? The meaning here is... Hold on a sec. That you can only survive as long as you're a part of the natural order of things. You remember pre-ripped jeans? Manufacturers what? thought that just because people loved old, broken-in jeans, they would want to buy new jeans that looked old. So they purposefully... What do jeans have to do with nature and order? Denim should fray and rip on its own, naturally, right? Some designers tried to go against that, and that <laughs> no one bought them. The earnings report from that fiscal year is enough of a proof. Earnings? I don't know, man. I know people that buy pre-ripped jeans. Jeans, are you Naomi? Call me soon enough, Otacon. Fuck. It's a good thing he told me about those pre ripped jeans, though. Snake, wait. Don't move. Oh. I see it. Some kind of device on both sides of the hall. Infrared sensors? Right. And they're linked to... Let me guess. Semtex. Exactly. Plastic explosives. If you trip the sensors... I'll be sleeping with the fishes, along with this entire ship. That sounds about right. All hmm. right. There aren't that many infrared beams. Maybe you can get no. past those without setting off the explosives. Gotcha. If you need to see exactly where the beams are, you can use the usual method. There's gotcha. a fire extinguisher over there. Break it open and try scattering some of the extinguishing chemicals. Oh yes, the watermelon. The watermelon physics in this game are unparalleled to this day. These aren't really watermelons, are they? They're just like, like melon, random like gourds. Gourd! What's going on? Nothing. Unable to find the A1 soldier. Nothing else to report. He's just he's just he's sleeping in the corner somewhere, don't mind him.
Oh, that's fine. A missing soldier, that's okay. Team of soldiers. What's going on? Respond. Oh. What's that? Fuck. Nothing. Ah. Nothing. Stealth one hundred. Think what are you sneezing? Oh, Snake has a cold. USB. USP, rather. I can shoot that camera. Fuck, we need medicine. isn't, like, seeing any problem with this. Orgy of the dead. This game is just so fucking fun to play. So don't mind me, I'm just taking my time with it. Superior helicopter. It has top tits. I don't know, Snake's ass looks a little deflated. Maybe that's what they're going for with Smash Ultimate? Snake. Did you find MGS2 out where that ship snake? is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So, the prototype is ready for solo testing. It's basically combat worthy. That area is outside the Second Fleet's operational range, too. It must be a standalone Marine Corps project, which means this prototype Metal Gear must be designed for independent deployment, without any naval assistance. 
Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Snake, you need to go down to the holds and locate the actual metal... Still don't have the USP. Nor do I know where to get it. Also, this game looks pretty good still, doesn't it? I mean, this is the HD version, which has just been upscaled, but... The art direction, pretty good. The textures aren't too bad. I mean, it was a PS2 game. I'm on my way to the tanker hold. Report your status. Control room, communications, and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? It was remastered? In yes, what way? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot. He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling Slightly about Slightly better mission. textures. Okay, Your I can see that. To me that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with a unit. I have nowhere else to go. Jeez, all right, Richard, dear. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now. Damn it. Anyone up for some Sunny D? Freeze! Hands over your head, now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. It's a cool looking gun though. I wouldn't want to toss that over. It's like a PPK. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads, wanderers. I said to move. Americans, so you should women too. <laughs> HD pits. Sorry, I never noticed what that. PS2 version. Toss it. Not there. Toss it over. Maybe it means a lot Hold to her. Position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. Turn around. Every now and then I feel a little bit Stop lonely. Me. No, Not seriously, shabby, turn around. Is it? New York, I mean. And that brings our tour to its conclusion. What was that on the left there? Was that a tarp? Oh, it's a tarp. I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. I 
been with the unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life, my family. We share everything. Remember the Ocelot the fight in Metal Gear Solid 3? I have no idea. Nothing else matters to me. Kinda getting vibes. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. Right in the butt. Showing off that nice new technology. TX on. forgot about this fight entirely. Well, most of this game I forgot about, but I didn't realize there was a boss on the tanker. Yours now, Scrow. Fucking predictive. Cipher. A big Archon. The ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies. Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. Y you could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't going to be simple. Snake. There's something I have to tell you. What? I'm pregnant! We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How Sorry. did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E. E.E.? E. Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. E. Emma? Emmerich? Yeah, it just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up. I've got a light-equipped USP. I can take them on now. 
There's no ammo, but it takes a 9mm, just like the Marines M9. I'll find those somewhere around here. Don't raise too much no racket way. with that thing. I hear you. What are you doing? This is a tip from the How chat. How could you shoot someone who's unconscious? What are you, some kind of a monster? Sorry, Otacon. Jeez. Oh, you need to save? Just a second. And he's like, yeah, well, fuck you, because I shot her in the face with a trank while she was unconscious. Oh, you need to save? That sounded so snooty. So sassy. Hey, Snake, what's hardest won, most easily lost? It's time, get it? Amazing how relevant these Chinese proverbs still are. Once the moment's gone, it's gone. Except for a daylight savings time, I don't of course. Believe. That extra hour to do anything you like with every autumn, gotta love it. Then again, I don't believe. you lose an hour every spring, so I guess the proverbs are right. Wow, they thought I of everything. Believe. Did they even have daylight savings back then? Of course not. They knew how to save time. We're the ones that need to be tricked into it. Yeah, but you said... The moment never returns, Snake. Let's not waste it on idle questions. What's with okay. this guy? <laughs> Rip jeans, daylight savings time. Alright, time to toss Olga overboard. Apparently I was supposed to take a picture. I don't know how true that is. Could be just chat japes, but... Snake, I don't think we can be friends anymore. Why not? Well, why are you throwing innocent people overboard? She shot at me! I got nowhere else to go! Vinny, did you hear about the swarm of bees on the hot dog stand in Times Square? No. Someone mentioned it earlier that bees took over Times Square. I thought it was a joke. But I kind of... Now I have to know what that is. Can you just tweet that shit to me, please? Snake, that door is probably busted. Try the other ones. Yeah, wet box. That sounds awesome. Really good sound design. Man, New York just stretches on forever, doesn't it? New York. New Jersey. And an attempt was made. I mean, for the PS2, that's fucking insane that they were able to do that. Too goddamn bright. I put thermal goggles on, I turned into blind from Link to the Past.
want to do some exercise. God damn it. Dog tag. It's so shitty. This dude was just hallucinating. Hmm? Fuck. Sorry, something happened to your radio? Are you going to stream all night, Vinny? No, I'm not. Probably going to end in about, uh... 45 minutes or so? Usual four-hour stream tonight. Just at a weird time. I have some music work to do before the studio tomorrow. I want to get it done. Otherwise, I'm wasting my goddamn money, you know? Gotta get my ship prepared. Gotta, 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 gotta be prepared. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like this. Oh. What's that? Ah, uh, there's a box. Is what it is, comrade. My dick. Unable to find the AWOL soldier. Nothing else to report. Unable to find the AWOL soldier. The guy you oh. just kicked in the fucking What's throat. That? Gonna be a little loud. But I was so fucking sick of that camera. Who's there? No one. You should come find out, maybe. Maybe you can find out. Oh. 
Flavio Camargos. Fuck, another dude has appeared. Freeze. <gasps> Bet you thought you could do the bus bows and bow. Hmm? Are you going to shoot me? Maybe you need a little motivation? Give me the dog tag. Give it up! If you're going to do it, then do it! Freeze. <laughs> we good? Cool. All right, see, now I don't have to kill you. Isn't that- isn't that good? Whoa! Boy, you sneaky fuck! I saw the glint in his eyes. Eyes, black as coal. Totally bamboozled. Oh, it's L1 to run with the gun out. I see. Someone just said, man, I sure do love not getting stream notifications and missing the whole stream. Oh, that sucks. Ah. Uh, well, I don't know why notifications wouldn't go out. But you're like the third person today that had that same problem. Be sure to, um, click the email thing so that you do get the notifications. But, if you use Chrome, you should download, um, or not download, but use the add-on Vinesauce Alert, which is, uh, bit.ly slash Vinesauce Alert. Go to that link and add it and you'll get notifications. So if you don't get notifications from time to time, that's, that's the... Freeze. Huh? Probably the best way to get it. Don't get kill me. Oh. There's a new Twitch thing called Smart Smart Notifications. It is stupid and bad. That looks like someone bent over like a, a table. He's but the child's toy.
Always zoom in. Uh. Oh, Snake, you want to save? Yeah, green needle. The Chinese have a saying, those who are lost never question a path, and a drowning man doubts not the shallows. And it means, means that you need to make use of other people's help, otherwise you could be in trouble. If you're lost, you don't even know whether a road you come across is a right one. And uh, what's the difference between shallow and deep if you've already drowned, right? Anyway, the point is that help is always a good thing to accept. So make good use of the codec. Look, this stuff seems nothing like what <laughs> Maylin used to talk about. Hey, she couldn't do better herself. I think he's saying imager. Jiggling. Please don't. Ah. Look at them snake legs going up and down them steps. They didn't quite get the step technology right. Okay. I need some help here. Was that the fucking Jarl? Oh! Boy well, can't now. I need some help here. It is Skyrim. It is not under control of the right people. Was that a bottomless pit? It's another one of them funny bottomless pits. Except this one's in a tanker. You know, in a boat. Judge this correctly. What's wrong with your radio, dude?
I wanted to toss into the pit. Dude had a hard life. No sign of the missing man. Even his friends don't acknowledge his existence, saying there's no sign of him. When he was clearly right there and they found him. That was Homer? Did I just do a Homer voice by accident? No, it's iron and bo Yeah, I guess it was a little bit. Homer. This is me, your son. How come you do not recognize my sovereignty? It's a big word, bud. Where'd you learn that one? Are you going to shoot me? Yeah, I am. It's a cool hand you got there. <laughs> Quality animations. Go the other way. Go the other way. You don't see a box. There's no box here. Yes. Yes, I am I'm invisible. Clear. I am invisible. Clear. Return to your positions. Increase security. Understood. Assigning more personnel to the starboard entrance to the engine room. Oh, you didn't give a shit. Is it him? Nope. No one here. No one here. They just forgot about me. Shit. This way. Shh, 
be very, very quiet. I'm just a box. I heard there was a sleepover last night on the floor of the tanker in the engine room. West doing that voice? It sounds like Philip J. Fry. It's kind of hard to see where the dudes were and if they would spot me or not. Well, everyone's sleeping. Now no one can complain. Who? What personnel? There are no personnel left. There's not a single personnel left to investigate. Every personnel is sleeping. Oh boy. another set of infrared sensors in place. If you touch that, the explosives will detonate and that ship will be pulverized. I'm not in the mood to go sleep with the fishes, but there are too many sensors. Looks like I'll have to find another way. No need to worry. There's a way through. Take a close look. Do you see the thing with blinking green lights right next to the explosives? That's the control unit for the sensors. Destroy that, and the sensors stop functioning. You can't get in close enough to touch it, so you'll have to shoot it out. But the M9's knockout rounds won't work. The USP you picked up should do the trick. Use that gun. You want me to shoot this thing here? Very smart, Kojima. What is this one?
I didn't see the light. <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm sick. There was nothing wrong. I just didn't want to shoot a bomb by accident. Good thing that flower was there, though. Arizona Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in ten minutes' time for the scheduled briefing <laughs> session with the commandant. That voice actor sounds familiar. Your post until that time. <laughs> it's weird hearing. Oh, you need to save. Like Just characters in video games and movies talk about Staten Island related things, so like when I hear the Verrazano Bridge, I'm like, wait, what? In The Expanse, there's a capital ship in the show called the, uh, in the book, called the Guy something Molinari. I forget the middle name. Guy P. Molinari? Acquaintances agree, friends argue. And that's a straightforward one. The better friends you are, the more openly you can disagree with each other. So, feel free to present a counterpoint if you don't agree with what I'm saying. Argue away. Sure. All right. Not a promising start. Okay, forget what I said. Just go along with my advice. <laughs> so yeah, he was a borough president of uh, Staten Island. He just passed away in July. So when I was watching the show, it was like, wait a minute, that dude just died. That, that was like a local, I was like a kid when he was the borough president. So just really weird to hear local things referenced. I'll never get used to it. <laughs> Damn it, Snake. That's not how you be stealthy. Meanwhile, I am the picture of stealth. Perfect stealth. Every time I play a Metal Gear game, never get <laughs> caught. Don't sneeze. Don't sneeze. Hmm? How do you get out of this? Nice fucking gun. You can't just, like, leap out of this and start shooting. I guess I was thinking of later games in the series. gonna suck when this dude wakes up and he can't walk
How do I wake this dude up? Shoot him a bunch. Keep dropping him. Okay. There we go. One Z left. an experiment. Freeze. More. Wait, you're walking? Ah. How the fuck are you standing, dude? It's nano machines. Please don't. That's cool. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> just, just experimenting, that's all. Revenge for being caught. You're a monster! Remember when I was talking about... ...the dude who liked to torture those, uh, creatures? I forget what they were called. Norns, I guess. From the game Creatures. And there was a dude who called himself an anti-Norn. And he would just find new and creative ways to torture the AI. And people were really upset in the community because he was torturing, like, made-up fake creatures that are in a video game. It's real easy for people to feel empathy for things. Which is a good thing, I think. Someone just said in chat, easier than real life, it seems. Holy shit. Damn, dude. Damn. Is also under our control. We are on the foredeck, about to descend to the holds. Sir, the Marine Commander has started his speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the holds have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. No one? Let no one down into the holds until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. I'm not specifically trying to do a no-kill run. I mean, I just like paralyzing people. That's... that's... cool. Ow. 
Oh, this is some fucking bad shooting. Won't kill anyone on the tanker. Oh, that was. Oh! All right, all right, you motherfuckers need Jesus. What? Oh, invisible wall! Time to kill. Here I go killing again. I, I swear I'll get at least a little bit better at this game. It's not gonna happen today. Cowboy. Why is there a cowboy on board? Oh, Shalashaska. Why are you here? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Teacher? What are you, some kind of triple agent? Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. The current state of nuclear... If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much Large good necks. Can you see Metal Very Gear? big neck. No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. Okay, Snake. Let's go over this one more time. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. Photoshop? It existed. All right. There's actually one little thing. 
Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? <laughs> I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network. Hacker managed speak. to get into that workstation and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera. There's an app for that. Split the files and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as... Okay, okay. So all I have to do is push the action button in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, okay. sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing. Right. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. I love that Otacon had to dumb down the process of At uploading moment, photos for Snake. Every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see us. Uh, six Gear and a half leaders. minutes. A little more than that. I gotta take these photos. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. I remember this scene pretty vividly. Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are Get a no helmet. longer a threat. It explains the lack Rush of peripheral vision. Liberation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out Someone by Someone said Ray. I could swap the projector? Is that Japes? The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Next room. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. The opposition from the Navy is... <laughs> Uh, it's floor. The floor is very squeaky. Snake! Respond! Snake! Snake! All Snake has to say to get out of this is that terrorists have invaded the fucking ship. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. I'm here to Worse warn yet, you! So do a number of rogue states. Why would they believe him? They could they just find out for themselves. Their own Metal Gear force to compete with the US's nuclear strike capability. Then they'll think he is one. Oh, that's a good point. A swarm of these Metal Gear I wonder if he's got like a driver's license that he could show. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, 
The hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish this. A little close to that dude. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Some say that the strategic All right. yep. aircraft yeah. carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air backgrounds. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development. But it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. Shit. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a Apparently father, I have to I go back and spam it. For the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my dream. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease, rest a little. <laughs> They're all confused. <laughs> Wait, are you sure this isn't going to get me caught? To move up in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will be <laughs> oh the world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the complete... Is, is this Ray. porn? The opposition from the Navy uh -oh. is undeniable. Fact. Oh, Raggy! There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital. I, I don't know how to get out of this. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. Oh, now it's... <laughs> Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development. I've never seen this. But it cannot be more different in nature than the Navy. Oh, what the what fuck, Jack? What the Snake. fuck? Snake! The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention Please move. from a major Please player. move. Please move. But this Please move. Is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think. Ah! The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs.
Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raids. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable... Yeah, going backwards, yeah. There's a lot of pressure from Navy brands, especially those with submarine and air backups. I didn't even know this was a thing in this game. Always bear that in mind. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy. There's the program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. Is a fact that players are what did he drop? I think he dropped a magazine. Not like a porn. Like bullets. This guy giving a fucking speech in front of Metal Gear. Metal Gear. He said it. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Fuck do I get back up? Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the army's wrecks, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected, and make its landing on any shoreline. Its onboard joint tactical information distribution system. It's also a good way to learn about the new Metal Gear while I'm sneaking around at the speed of a snail. Yours to go. I'd like you all to think about what that means. Good lore. I have a door. How many times have we heard this? Never to have her or her children. This dude is repeating himself a lot. Nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for future generations. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray. After the oh, thinking, oh, snake, snake. Wait, how do you not kill? I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. Don't tap it, just hold down the button. Did you know that this guy has a daughter? I know that. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Hold to choke, mash to snap. There's been so many there have been so many game overs already. Landing on any shoreline. Its onboard joint tactical information distribution system identifies targets with unerring accuracy. It takes them out with massive firepower. It is the ultimate weapon. It is yours to guard. I'd like you all to think about what that means. I have a daughter. And it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children um. experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Grey, after the great- Fuck, I wish it wasn't empty. 
manta ray. Our ray has a sting that nature never gave the manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. George Sears surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. Good. The reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex and next generation nuclear warheads. But even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover-up cost of his influence in the political community. Two and a half minutes. The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is correct, means that there was a calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interests within the military-industrial complex. We are here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces. That is our mission. We will bear that in mind. The proliferation and development of Metal Gear technology are about to render agreements like the NDT and START obsolete. There are also forces the logo. That are trying to exploit this disturbing trend to further their own power and influence. Climb up. That dude is gonna wake up. The dude I choke slammed. We have intelligence that there are anti-metal gear terrorists planning to target the ship. It was up that pole that you slipped to the right. Jesus. Intruder in the back. Intruder to the left! Jesus Christ, dude! Intruder in the back! Good jape. Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your guard at all times. Good japes. To move on. The human race is about to slide back into the endless arms race of that last century. And we cannot afford to play that Russian roulette again. The Metal Gear Ray you see is here to prevent that possibility. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of God damn it. As a father, I want to meet a better world for the future generation. I don't want to hear about this dude's daughter anymore. I know that. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the army's wrecks, it recruits deep underwater. Move in. Okay, so I have to take a picture from up here first. Identifies targets with unerring accuracy. Yeah. It takes them out. Massive fire. Good. Man, that would have been it is the fucking real helpful to know before. To I'm go. sure people were telling me, but. Like you all to think about what that means. I have a daughter. Oh, Jesus. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. That's right. This new it's model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Manta Ray. Our Ray has a sting that nature never gave the Manta. With this latest Metal Gear, we can rule the sea and land as we never have before. You have the picks already? Wait, wait, I do? George Sears surrendered his presidency in the aftermath okay. of Shadow Moses. The official reason given did not... <laughs> to sneak the backwards to the computer. ...next generation nuclear warheads. But That's even convenient. you will have heard rumors that you... It was a bamboozle.
MSX. Cool reference. They want you to do the Easter egg? What's the Easter egg? When do I type Hunter 2? Different pictures get different reactions. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Uh, uh, the first uh, one I'm you didn't say the is... magic word. I'm sorry. You need to take another one. <laughs> and the next one is... Oh, this is a... What? Nothing. It's nothing. Uh, but this isn't a photo of Metal Gear. Anyway. Con, what the hell? Sorry, but you're going to have to go back and shoot another set. I'll just make a backup of this one. Oh, that's weird, dude. Okay, what am I seeing now? Huh... It needs to be a little more clear. What we need is top-notch quality here. What's next? It's Vulcan Raven, dude. Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. And the next one is... This is great! The Marines lettering shows up really well. Wait, does it? The last one is... Didn't think Gerlukovich was involved, of all people. Okay, so it turns out I do need to take two more pictures. To resign after the failed cover of cost of his influence in the political community. Let's stretch those neck muscles again. Right. Left. Right. <laughs> to move on, the Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposed. To I, I like how that picture that Otacon said showed the Marines logo did not even have the Marines logo at all in the shot. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. This also, where was the photo I just took? Means that there was a calculated was weird. intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific interests within the military industrial complex. We are here today to Yeah, I guess I didn't get the Otacon Robertson. Easter egg. Apparently, he, he gets really excited about Robertson's. Looks like I have your photos now. Let's take a look. The first image is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. So, what's the last one gonna be? It's the exact same as the You're Olga a picture. You're photographer. Okay. We can definitely use this left shot. We, the Marines, will lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Rain. That is all. Dismissed. It was only like... five deaths. And me being spotted a thousand times. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. You tell me of a liar. No one would just Americans shoot him on sight. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself.
I am Shalashaska, also called Revolver Ocelot. Low poly Ocelot. Spaghetti Cinema. Meme achievements. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. You know what? I'll buy it. I'll buy it for a dollar. Whatever. Mm. Nobody move. Understood. <laughs> Brock Lesnar. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. What does Tex-Mex have to do with this? Ocelot likes burritos, confirmed. Get a move on. Checks mix. Man, fucking Metal Gear Ray looks so cool. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. It's a good rolling of the R's about? there. After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. <laughs> yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Low. <laughs> How's that possible? Ocelot. You! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. I was so fucking confused the first time I heard the that Russia dude say that. Rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Vulgan. Metal Gear only has room for one! Vulgan saw fit to that. Gulukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! Some good motion capture. Pioneer in that regard. It seems like the Russian guy has a daughter. So does military men. Sergey, 
Looks like you were long overdue for retirement. Our right, daughters. Oh. Shit. Beast. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. Been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? <laughs> You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. <laughs> Ouch! Get out, out of, of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! Remember, he got his arm cut off. Well, hand. So he's got Liquid's hand. Strong genes. The price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! Look at all. It's so silly. There is further development on Liquid's arm that is a spoiler that I will not talk about. Vinny, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I don't think that's how that works. What do you mean that's not how that works? Okay, decoy octopus in injects the blood of his target into himself, and then he becomes them. It's nano machine, son. Shit, Metal Gear right. In the wrong hands. Their operation. You what it takes after all. It was a success. You're going down, Snake, with this tanker! This fucking thing. So sleek. So smooth. Mm. 
Metal Gear Rex is jealous. In awe of the size of this lad. Vinny, did you know this section was supposed to be playable as an escape? No. <laughs> Roar. Metal Gear Ray would win the Olympics. Easily. Yes, at the location we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. Jesus. It's a hell of a first act. Someone said I'm so confused. Well, get used to it. I think we're going to stop here. That's a good place to stop. Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker oh, two years ago? Oh, fuck off, Colonel, no! Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. The 
deployed the big Snake, shell you sound really weird. six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. What makes them think they can get that much? Wow. There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Snake, why is your hair blonde? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. Jesus Christ, it's right off the shore of my home. Right by Staten Island. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. Shit, well... I was gonna stop playing, but maybe in a couple minutes, I'll leave you at a different cliffhanger? This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of Shell 1. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Oh, boy. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your Gee, this ear. is familiar, Colonel. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds hmm. good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. 
The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. Weren't there 300 missions the in VR? The hatch with VR? a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch the VR first. missions game? Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. So, so, uh, Snake... <clears throat> Snake, I mean Raiden now, just played through all of VR missions. So did I. I could do this. I was very confused when I first played this. I, I remember, like, vague details about this game and some big ones, but I also just remember general feelings about stuff. And I was extremely confused right about now. Those are basically house centipedes. Or at least that's what they look like. Bagzu. So, I don't think I can save for a little while, but when I get to the save point, that's where I'll stop the stream and check the art. Someone said, is this actually Raiden? I'm so confused. Who's... Okay, keep in mind, when this game came out, no one knew who the fuck Raiden was. So just keep in mind, Denny. That that was a very, very foreign concept to us gamers back in 2001. But then again, we just watched a dead man's arm change the vocal cords of an old man. So... Sentry, AN-94, and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses Takeover Group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Remind me again, how many years after, or how long after the, um, the tanker incident did this occur? Two. Two years. Um, I was very shocked when the tanker wasn't the whole game. And more than a little confused. The demo is the entire tanker sequence. I don't... Was it the entire tanker sequence? Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take the demo care is everything every up to Olga. in the area. They're all out cold. Gotcha. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, 
you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator, a node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Oh my god. Node. Oh my god, dude. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. These estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We need to get to the map through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high, should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. Yeah, how do I gain access? Just push the action button in front of the node. The nanomachines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. The Got more it. Colonel says node, the less it sounds like a real word. But I just want to say Raiden is a real fucking node. Raiden, you won't be able to use any of the enemy's equipment. Why not? You should know that all active weapons are equipped with a personal identification system. The owner enters their required user ID information during the weapon registration or at the start of a mission. If anyone other than the registered user tries to fire the weapon, the ID system will not authorize the action. But these are black market Russian weapons. How can they be equipped with identification functionality? They must have been customized by the terrorists themselves. These are professionals we're dealing with, and they certainly won't let their own equipment be used against them. I'm guessing it's the same for the Navy SEALs gear? Right. How am I supposed to procure weapons then? Find the ones that haven't yet been individualized. Everything you find in the item box is clean. You should know this from your VR training. Okay, I know those. Items in the item box are yours to use at will. They will be your supply source with regards to weaponry and gear. Mm. Mm. Knowing more what I know about this game, I'm playing it again like this, makes it a much more compelling experience for me. Oh, that's good. <sighs> There you go, that's how you log in, that's how you get your radar. Doesn't the game wish you a happy birthday if you put in... Are people laughing at the country Uruguay now? Come on. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. I know, dude. Well, your I radar mean... isn't affected by the weather. But if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. There's a specific it reason. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. We're being told all this. It's all made from currently existing technology. Currently existing. 
you won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. Very familiar, Colonel. Thank the you. The Big Shell's layout map should now be available after touching the Start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data, too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. Jack and Rose. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may I never be made the, the service, Titanic connection. But an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Oh, God. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. Just a normal girl. But that girl. means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. You're a real and because woman. of that, I will be monitoring Jesus. and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. You're Given the circumstances, woman. you're free to do what you see fit. Right. Hey. I prefer this to being kept Whatever. in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His it's handle real. is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Didn't Colonel say call him Raiden? I guess it doesn't matter. Raiden. The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. And Find I certainly don't want to save until now. Until the elevator arrives, you must stay out of sight. We gotta wait for the elevator to arrive. After the elevator. What's up, Jack? That's where I'll stop. It's also oh good motivation. Gl glad we have her on the mission, I'm Colonel. Enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Wait, what? I'm glad I decided to play Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 back to back. Very, very glad. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader 
is Solid Snake. <laughs> the hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. It's very mother basic. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. So, I guess the cat's out of the bag. I'm playing as Raiden, not Solid Snake. This was a very, very strange thing for me to experience. Oh yes, the, the birds can shit on you. I'm gonna try to make that happen. I wanna expedite that. Give me some delicious bird poop, please. It's just gonna stay there. It's just on Raiden's eyeball. So now, yeah, I'm Raiden. Uh, should I spoil- well, here, look, it's not much of a spoiler, but I'm gonna say this. Raiden is the playable character for the rest of this game, which is a thing that pisses a lot of people off. Still, less so now, because Raiden is a much more welcome character after a couple more games. Okay. This was the main sticking point, and it took me a long time before I was like, well, when do I get to play a snake again? So I'm not going to have you go through that, because I'm not going to be able to do commentary for this without you knowing that Raiden is the main playable character. I'm sure there's several people, maybe several hundred people in the audience that didn't ever hear about this, or play this, or see this in any capacity. Uh, it is, it's, you know, it's what it is, and Kajumbo has his, his reasons, and you'll see them, and we're gonna do some really deep diving plot analysis when I'm done with the game, or as I progress through it, as I recently did some research on it, and I will do more as I go along, but, yeah, essentially, I am Raiden, and I'm going to infiltrate the Big Shell which is decontaminating the bay after the uh, crazy shit that happened two years ago. But Raiden has only done VR missions. I think you can... You can slip on the poop, too. Genius Kojima. place to save. Jack, do you need to save? I'm gonna say that Raiden comes across as a little unlikable and annoying, like, A NERD? Did you say a NERD? But again, there's reasons for it. It's, it's not like Kojima didn't know what the fuck he was doing. It might piss you off, but it's, you know, there's a reason. There's a story here. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. 
How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. I don't know if this is a coincidence or not, but since Raiden was revealed as the playable character, the stream lost about two, 250 viewers. <laughs> I don't know if it's a coincidence. Or it could be... It could be... The bias from years ago. That's good stuff. Well, this game is awesome. I'm looking forward to the rest of this playthrough. And, uh, trust me, it's worth it. Even if it is, like obtuse and strange and weird. Strange and weird are the same thing, aren't they? But even if it is all those things and more, I think it's it's still worth the experience. You'll see. Just keep watching. We'll just leave Raiden on a pile of bird shit over overnight. All right, so I'm ending a bit early tonight, and I'm going to go uh, work on some some stuff, some music stuff. Um, not a ton of art tonight either, which is quality over quantity is good for me. But we're going to do them. We're going to do the art. Um, for the record, tomorrow, I don't know what I'm going to stream tomorrow, but uh, this week we'll do more Messenger, more Metal Gear Solid 2. We will do WarioWare Gold. I'll try to get that Hollow Knight stream in. Maybe some dead smells and who who the fuck knows what else. 